What's up everyone, I'm Nick. This is Swiftful Thinking, where we cover all things Swift and Swift UI related. And I am so excited to share this awesome course with you all. Uh, if you've been following me, I've been a little MIA for the past about two weeks, and that's because I've been creating this course. And I wanted to create the whole course and record the whole course before actually posting it, but now we are ready to rock and roll. So we're gonna be building a cryptocurrency app that downloads live price data from the internet and saves the current user's portfolio to core data. It is gonna be a very cool app, but before we get into it, I wanna point out there that you do not need to know what cryptocurrencies are, how they work, you don't even need to be interested in them to do this course. The reason we're doing a cryptocurrency app is simply because we're using a free online API uh, and that API is very beginner friendly. It's great for learning. So do not worry if you are not familiar with what Bitcoin is or anything like that. But if you are interested, obviously you're gonna have a lot of fun building this awesome app. I'm gonna mark this as an intermediate course and that's because if you follow the SwiftUI Continue Learning playlist, we're basically using everything we learned in that playlist to build out this app. And if you are watching this and you are just starting Swift or Swift UI, I highly recommend going to watch other playlists on my channel, such as the Swift UI Bootcamp and the Swift UI Continue Learning playlist, which are much more beginner friendly and then coming on back to this once you are more comfortable. But if you are ready for this and you did watch the last playlist, uh, I still think this will be a challenge for you guys because it's one thing to learn all of the tools and features, but it's another thing to put everything you learned together to create one really beautiful app and code base. So there's a lot of really cool things that we're gonna do in this app that are very common to just app making in general. We're gonna be making several different API calls. We're gonna be managing all that data throughout our app. The architecture we're gonna use is MVVM architecture. We're actually gonna expand on it a little bit and add some extra layers just for efficiency. We're gonna be using data persistence by saving data in core data, and we're also gonna be saving some images to the file manager. And of course, we are using the best Swift UI practices to keep everything nice and neat and organized and efficient and elegant. I think you guys are gonna really like this course. And now I realized, looking back at the Swift UI to do app playlist that I've made that when we started that playlist, we just jumped into the code and started coding. I never even showed you guys what we were building. And I thought it'd be really exciting this time to instead just walk you through the final product and show you what we're gonna actually build because I think it looks pretty exciting. So with that said, I'm gonna jump on my computer and walk you guys through what we are building. All right, so I just wanna quickly walk you guys through what we are gonna build here. And we're not gonna dive too much into detail. I'm not gonna show you any code in this video, but I do have the simulator here on the right side, and I think the app turned out looking really, really cool. So, so we have our logo on the app icon, which I'm using this black and pink color scheme. We are building the app so you can add your own color scheme if you want, uh, and we're gonna just call it the Crypto Tracker for now. So when we click on it, it's going right into this awesome loading launch animation, which we can see down here. And while that launch is happening, we're actually making our first API call, which then is being displayed on this screen. So this is the home screen of our app. We have some market data that comes in from one API call at the top here and coin data that is coming in from another API call at the bottom. So this is live price data and percentages that we are getting straight from our API. And probably the coolest part of this app is that if we click on one of these coins, we have this detail view with this animated chart that we're going to make 100% from scratch. When we get onto this detail view, we're actually making another API call to get some additional data for each of these coins. So here I can see the coin image in the top right corner, but also the description here, which has this expandable and collapsible description section, which looks really good. And below that, we have all of these statistics for this coin. And all of these statistics are also coming in from the API. So we are decoding the data from the API and then mapping it in our app and converting it into something that's usable on this screen. And on the bottom of the screen, we also have links to like this coin's website and their Reddit page and things like that. If I go back to our home screen, we have the ability to also filter for coins. So if I wanted to filter for all coins that included BTC in their uh, symbol or name, so we have a whole bunch of coins here, we can filter and we can also sort. So we can sort from highest to lowest market cap, but also lowest to highest. 
we can sort by price. So we can go highest to lowest price and reverse. And then if I click this arrow, we can actually jump to a portfolio view. And this is a view of the current user's portfolio. So as the current user on this phone, I added these coins. These are just random coins. This is not financial advice, but the current user has 20 dot coins, five Ethereum, and then one Bitcoin. And we can see that here, these numbers are persisting and being saved in core data. So if we close the app and reopen the app, these numbers will persist but we're using live price data so we can get the current value of this current user's portfolio. We can see the current value up here, which is 42,000, and the amount the current user's portfolio has changed in the last 24 hours. On this screen, we can again filter or sort, and here we can sort by holdings or price. And of course, we have the ability, if we want to reload the prices, we have the ability to reload. All right, and on that portfolio view, we have this plus sign where we can jump into an edit portfolio view where we can again search for a coin. And then here we can add the number of coins that this current user has. So if I wanted to add maybe seven of these, click save, we get our save icon. It's now included in our portfolio and it automatically updates back on our screen. So this is a fully functioning app that is saving the current user's portfolio and using live price data from the API. Finally, we have our awesome settings screen, which has some information about this course, about the API, and then a little bit about the developer section that you're gonna add for yourself. Overall, I am very excited with how this app has turned out because I think it looks really good. We are managing all of our data using great architecture and using publishers and subscribers in Combine to really just make everything flow very smoothly and efficiently. And I think the final product looks really professional. All right, so I hope you guys are as excited as I am. I think the app looks awesome. The end product is a fully functioning app that you can put into the app store. It has awesome app architecture. We're gonna write our code elegantly using Combine publishers and subscribers. We're gonna use the best practices in a Swift UI. We're gonna practice safe coding with guard and if let statements. And overall, it's gonna be a lot of fun. So with that said, thank you guys for watching. As always, I'm Nick, this is Swiftful Thinking, and I'll see you in the next video.